Senator Mewimi Tisa. Thank you very much. My name is Senator Osita Izunaso, the Senator elect for Imo West, otherwise known as Ono Senatorial Zone, Imo State. We understand that you have served in both the Red Chamber and the Green Chamber of the National Assembly, and you are one of the most experienced editors in this 10th Assembly. Is that true, sir? Well, it is. It is. I've served in the Green Chamber and the Red Chamber. It's one of those rare privileges one can get in the legislative uh, project. And I have an opportunity to have such a privilege of being elected in the House of Representatives and also elected twice now in the Senate. So to me, it's a rare privilege. And that is remarkable and very outstanding enough because that enables me to know the rudiments of the legislature in and out. There is no aspect of legislature that uh, I haven't come across in one way or the other. So I, I think I'm suitable. I think I'm qualified. I think I am one of the most qualified, if I'm not making any mistake today, in that National Assembly. Because we are very few that have been in the Senate since 2007. I'm, in the whole country, I'm not sure that we're up to five that have been in the Senate since 2007. So I think it's a rare privilege to me. And I believe we must uh, build on it to get something reasonable for our people and also for our country. We understand that you are a front runner for the position of the Senate President in this Senate Assembly. With your wealth of experience, what are Nigerians going to expect from you? Well, the Senate uh, Assembly and the Tenth National Assembly and Tenth Senate is certainly different from the other assemblies, in the sense that today we have a proliferation of uh, political parties. We have close to seven political parties that today have senators elect. You have the APC that is in the majority. You have the PDP. You have Labour. You have NMPP. You have SDP. You have YPP. I have APGA. Seven political parties that uh, have senators elect. So it is something that you have to strike a major balance on how to manage these peculiarities. Because before now, it's either you have PDP and APC, or maybe one, one more party. But today, you have seven. So it is not an easy task to manage. So to manage the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is something that requires a lot of experience. It's something that requires a lot of humility. Don't forget that you are just head amongst equals. So I believe that I have seen it all in National Assembly, and I have what it takes to be able to manage the Senate of the 10th Assembly. But be, be, besides that, the Senate, as you know, requires rebranding. My cardinal point is that the Senate, and indeed National Assembly, should be rebranded. We have a product that you have marketed for 10, 15, 20 years. You have to rebrand that product. And I think, and I believe seriously, that Nigerians expect a lot from us. It can never be business as usual, because there's a lot of expectations. People are not happy. People don't feel happy about the way things are going in the country. And this legislature appears to be the only hope, because the legislature is in between the executive and the judiciary. So it appears to be the only hope that people can have to make sure that things get better and better and better. So I believe that my first assignment when I become the Senate president will be to rebrand the Senate. The second assignment will be to work towards national cohesion. But you can see there's a lot of distractions trying to disintegrate the country. So we have to work on those tendencies and bring everybody back to what we used to be. Because this country is one united good country that everyone enjoys himself. People travel abroad and they look forward to coming back. But today, people are migrating. Nobody wants to come back again. We have to bring them back. We have to work on security. We have to work on the economy. We have to work on employment. A lot of youths have left school without jobs. So we have to do proper rebranding and have a very robust legislative agenda for the 10th Senate. So it is not something that we're going to play with at all in any form. I just need to all I know Because you are not a man that changes your mind oh. Those that know you will trust in you Not in her 
horses and chariots by the arm of flesh no man can prevail no man no man no man no man my confidence is you what is a 